Team Olajuwon, who I believe, along with Michael Jordan. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Let me talk about Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and Hakeem Olajuwon. So, Jalen Rose was on Instagram Live and was talking about the recent ESPN layoffs. Remember, he was let go by ESPN. So, while he was talking about that whole situation, giving his reaction, he went on to give a story about the good old days when he was playing against the Rockets. Of course, Hakeem Olajuwon, aka The Dream, was the main guy, the superstar of that Rockets team. He then says that Hakeem, Michael Jordan, and Kobe Bryant are the three best two-way players of all times, in his opinion. Having played against all three of them, and also having played against other all-time great players, I have to say that this is a solid statement. Let's just listen to what he says. I'll never forget... We was playing against the Rockets one time. I think this is my first or second year. And Akeem Olajuwon, who I believe, along with Michael Jordan, are the only two people I've ever been on the court with and Kobe, those three, that I felt like were the best player on both ends at all times that could play above the rim around the rim in the paint but also just attack you with all of their moves and their skills I remember looking over at the bench and I seen Hakeem with a gas mask on I was like wow I didn't realize the dream got tired because I viewed him as superhuman. That's all from Jalen Rose. A player who can impact an NBA game on both ends of the basketball court is definitely a dream for any coach and organization in the league. Whenever a great NBA player comes around, performing on both ends of the court will quickly separate him from some of his peers. There have been great two-way players in NBA history. Definitely Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant and Akeem Olajuwon are among them. For instance, in the 2021 NBA Finals, we saw Yanis Antetokounmpo perform brilliantly, especially in Game 6. He dropped 50 points, giving the Bucks their first title in 50 years, and he was also dominant on the defensive end. Another two-way great is Kevin Garnett. He was a force both on the offense and defense, with his intensity and athletic ability. He was able to protect the paint and able to guard perimeter players when needed. Tim Duncan is another one. He is arguably the greatest defensive player to never have won the Defensive Player of the Year award. Kobe Bryant's offensive skills will always be regarded as one of the greatest and most polished in NBA history, but his defensive presence is scarcely talked about. Defensively, in one-on-one -on -one matchups, Bryant was able to be as dominant as he was on the offensive. Hakim Olajuwon was a freak of nature at the center position. He was the second player in NBA history to win the MVP award and Defensive Player of the Year award which he won twice. The Dream is also one of the three players in NBA history to win MVP, Defensive Player of the Year Award, and Finals MVP Award, alongside Michael Jordan and Giannis Antetokounmpo. He is the all-time leader in career blocks in the regular season and is second in blocks in the NBA playoffs. And finally, Michael Jordan, the greatest player of all time. He won 10 scoring titles throughout his career. He made the all-defensive first team nine times in his career as well. First player to win MVP, Defensive Player of the Year, and Finals MVP. He also led the league three times in steals per game. Do you agree with Jalen Rose, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, Hakim Olajuwon, the greatest two-way players of all times? Drop a comment. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Thank you.